What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 18 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss. Now, I know that I've made like a couple more of these videos, you know, in the past about, you know, editing audio like a boss in Vegas Pro and in previous versions. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys something I have never showed you guys before ever on the channel. It is about editing audio in such a way that people are not really thinking like that if you applied, you know, effects on it afterwards or on your live microphone or if that you're in this crazy environment it keeps people wondering it's actually a pretty cool topic so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the first time watching as always i would say let's start editing audio like a boss of course right after the intro All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. And of course, this is my external audio that I recorded with my Shure SM7B microphones. I always swap out the audio from my camera because it's just a lot echoey. And I'll show you guys what it sounds right now if I do it real quick. So this is basically the audio from my camera. This is sitting on the tripod in front of me. And then if I switch back to it, it just right now, it's just a lot more echo and the quality is a lot worse. So if I switch back to the audio from my Shure sm 7 and B mic, you can clearly hear the difference. So of course, if you're going further away from the, you know, the actual microphone or you're doing music or whatever it might be, or even a voiceover, you can always apply effects on it. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to hit on this event effects button. And right here, you can choose what kind of effects would you like on it? Would you have like reverb, a resonant filter, but we're going to add in some EQ. And the one I would recommend is track equalizer. So we're going to click on add and then on OK, because then of course it will be inserted into our clip right here we have the frequency the gain and the roll off so if we're going to click on the first one if we're going to drag this guy all the way to the left and make this little curve we would add in a lot more bass to it so i would also recommend to listen to this video and these sound samples i'm going to play back for you when you are wearing a decent pair of headphones or good speakers because you're not going to hear this out of like regular laptop speakers or like a phone speaker because it sounds you know a little bit more flat so this is basically what it sounds like brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss because of course you know you want to get back to a brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going to show so it has a lot more bass to it so if i'm going to drag on the four to the right it's going to make the s's and the t's in your sentences so much sharper so this is what that sounds like Alex, welcome back to a brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going show you guys exactly it sounds a lot more you know sharp and all that so let's drag on the gain a little bit let's see what that sounds like on, guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly so if i move this guy around while it's playing you can you can literally hear the difference brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss because of course you know you want to get alex welcome back to a brand new video now in this vegas tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio. this is how you can make this a lot more clear and all that so the second option that i would recommend is using a plugin called sound toys now of course this one is not free you got to get it externally i'll leave a link down below and what you can do is you can just go to this effects button which says plugin chain sound toys is basically a bundle of a a lot of sort of plugins so we have a echo boy of course that also says echo it's going to add in a lot more reverb we have filter freak being able to add in a lot more filters and all that so let's see where they are right here this is one from sound toys which is called echo boy so we're going to click on that we're going to click on add and we're going to click on okay now this menu is popping up now i want to mention that this plugin is mainly used by people that are making music and they also use this plugin in pro tools and cubase and all that so let's go ahead and play this and put this one on loop and let's play it back and let's see what it does when we're editing and going through the presets my name is alex welcome back to my brand new video how to edit audio like a boss. My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this Vegas tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss. My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this Vegas tutorial. 
portal. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit our videos like a boss. Welcome back to a brand new video. So as you can hear, it adds in a lot of echo. So I wouldn't really recommend that on uh, voiceovers since it might be a little bit annoying. But if you're going to have like, for example, music parts or anything like that, you can literally just apply it on there. And it is really, really simple. So there's also another one, which is Filter Freak 1 and 2. So let's pick Filter Freak 1 and let's click on Add. And let's click on OK. Let's insert that in. So let's see what that does. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this whole tutorial, I'm going to show you guys this wall hole. So as you can hear, it adds in this like this sweep and this telephone effect. And right here in this menu, you can also adjust like how fast it's going, how deep it is going. Because if I twist this one, uh, it's actually going to change that curve in the green. Well, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss in Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this Vegas tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss in Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this Vegas tutorial, I'm going to so that's a really, really cool thing that you can just add in these effects and all that. I wouldn't really overuse sound toys plugins on uh, vocals or I mean like voiceover when you're talking because it might be a little bit upfront. But I think if you're going to use, for example, certain presets such as like a stereo expander, that's actually going to make your voice sound really, really thick and wide and expanded. And that's why it's called the stereo expander. So of course, there are a lot of different plugins that you can get from sound toys. Let's go to the website real quick and let's see what they are. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, the, the one I just had uh, runs right now for $1.99, but I think I got mine for like $49 or something like that when it was on a sale. There are tons and tons of different ones, but I literally don't have them all. I just have a couple such as Echo Boy, a Phase Mistress, which is right here, which is going to add in like this really, really cool phasing onto your voice. And also the one which is called, I think it was Echo Boy, Phase Mistress, and then we had Filter Freak as well. So these are the three ones that I made mainly use but of course we have like this devil lock deluxe we have the little radiator the devil lock the cq little micro shift and of course these are a little steep this is just 129 bucks for one plugin and that's a good thing that they also have this entire pack as you can see which runs for 499 500 it's a lot of money but that's a really good thing that sometimes i run these great deals because let's see how much that i've actually paid for these plugins all right guys so right now we're in my email for my order summary right here and if i scroll down i literally paid $107 for three plugins because they were on a huge sale. The Phase Mistress was on $29, the Echo Boy was on $49, and the Filter Freak was also on uh, $29. So Echo Boy runs right now, for example, at like $199, and I got it for $49, so that's a huge deal, and I just paid $107 for three of them, while one of them right now runs for only $199, let alone the three other ones also combined full price. That's basically what you can do, guys. You can just mess around with these plugins and see how they add value to your videos and just add in this track EQ that I showed you guys like add in a little bit more bass a little bit more treble maybe a little less gain to make that sound for example from your phone recording sound like a really really expensive microphone so that is how to edit audio like a boss all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to use sound toys and of course I'm not in any way associated with them or this is like this video sponsored or whatever this is just my honest opinion because these are the best plugins ever for editing music for applying this on guitar or vocal vocals or anything like that and also just for voiceover choose to add a little bit more spice to it so if you want to check it out make sure to check out the first link down in the description and by the way they also have sometimes some huge deals for example like one plugin goes for example at 149 they might switch it just to 49 dollars like this hundred dollar saving it is crazy and that's how i bought all my plugins as well on all these crazy sales so that's it for this video guys thanks a lot for your continued support and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one